The trick to having a burger packed full of flavour is to use New Zealand pork. So I've got some New Zealand pork mince here, and I'll pop it in there like that. One egg, in it goes. Some Dijon mustard, or your favourite mustard, wh wh whichever you prefer. I'm using some Dijon mustard, but whole grain, whatever, whatever your favourite mustard is, get some in there. A little garlic. It's just been minced up. And the thing I find that sort of the little secret weapon is I've got some basil leaves. Fresh basil leaves. Now if you can't get fresh basil leaves, use some dried ones. I'm just rolling the leaves up into a roll, just very roughly, and now I'm going to just slice them. There we go. Thinly like that, pick them up and pop them in with our patty mix. Now, it's ready to mix up. We're going to need some salt and we're going to need a good grind of pepper in there. Feel free to add whatever you like into your patty mix. Extra things in there can always be good and you can extend your patty mix by adding a few breadcrumbs if you need to. One little tip I'm going to give you that I often do to check that I've got the seasoning right is heat up my pan, just a little bit of olive oil in there. Ready, take a piece, just a small piece of my patty mix, roll it up into a little ball like that, flatten it out and into the pan and we'll fry it up, we'll have a taste of it and we'll know whether we add some more salt or we don't. I've been cooking my little tester here, so we'll just pop it down here and we'll cut it open and I'll have a taste. A little bit more pepper. So I've got the seasoning right, just by doing that little tip I gave you of cooking some off. Divide your mix up into equal portions put it into your hands, make sure your hands are nice and clean and shape it into whatever size patty you want. I want a good size, about 200 grams of meat. Some olive oil into the pan and in it goes. While it's cooking, I'm going to show you how to make the slaw. Step two is to make our slaw. I've got some white and red cabbage that's just been thinly sliced. I've got some peanuts going in. Then I've got some mayonnaise. Kupi mayonnaise is the Japanese mayonnaise that I like to buy from the supermarket if I'm buying a bought mayonnaise. It's really good. In it goes. And the secret weapon that's going to go in now, smoked chipotle Tabasco. Really good. That's going to give it our flavour. If you like it spicy, get plenty in. If you don't, not so much. Mix that up, and this slaw will be just delicious. And probably tastes pretty good with a pork fillet or a pork chop as well. Now to assemble our burger. Our patty is ready. Oh, look at that, really good. I've had my burger bun cut in half. I've had that in the oven. I've got an onion ring which I've had in the oven as well. I've got our slaw, pop it on the bun there, get our slaw in there like that, hide it in the onion ring there and this is also going to give us some height with our burger on top there, always a slice of tomato lurking, tad more of our slaw on top, on goes our lid and just to keep everything stable and looking good I'm just going to grab a little piece of a tomato there. There we go. Through our bun. You know, if you've got a little bit of basil left over, pop that on top. There we go. It's looking pretty jolly fine to me. And of course, 
It's never complete without a few fries.